So let's go ahead and create a new rule here. Uh, and this time we're going to pick a new trigger type. So we're going to run this rule when an issue is transitioned to done. Um, so with this uh, configuration here, you can very quickly set up a rule so that only certain tra workflow transitions will get picked up. Uh, in this case, we wanna check that an epic is in fact moved to done. So again, we're going to add an issue field condition here uh, that at this time checks that the issue type is an epic. And now we can introduce this new, more uh, powerful building block that we haven't looked at yet up until now, which is this branch rule related issues component. So with this, you can perform actions on many different types of related issues. So we can do things with subtasks. So if the trigger issue over here was a parent issue and had subtasks, you could perform actions on the subtasks. Or if the trigger issue was in fact a subtask itself, you can navigate up to the parent. In our example here, we're going to use stories. So our trigger issue is an epic, and with this option, we can then perform actions on all the stories. Uh, you can also do things with linked issues, for example, uh, or if you want full control over what the related issues are, you can even search for them with a custom JQL search. So this is a really uh, flexible and powerful way to find related issues uh, to the one that triggered off this automation rule. But for now, let's uh, pick our stories here and uh, go ahead and add a condition now on this related issue branch. So we can now perform conditional uh, or condition checks on the uh, stories that are related to the trigger issue as well. So again, I'm going to pick our issue field condition here and basically ensure that we only run uh, our actions for stories that are not currently done. And then finally, we can transition those issues to the same status as the trigger issue. So just to go over this rule again, when the rule, when an issue is transitioned to done, if it's an epic, then we're going to navigate to all the stories in that epic. And if those stories are not done yet, then we're going to transition, transition those stories to done, uh, which is the same status as our trigger issue. So let's give this a name. and try this out. So I'm going to reuse the same epic that we created before. So let's go ahead and create a bunch of stories in this epic. Um, and right now this is currently not done yet. So we're in the backlog status here in our workflow and none of these stories are currently done. So let's go ahead and actually transition this epic to done. So now, if I jump back to our audit log for this rule, you can see that there's already been a successful execution. Uh, and we can see, the again, the issue that triggered this. Uh, we can see all the stories that, um, were, that we found in this epic, and then the fact that we transitioned all of them to done. And if I come back to our board here, you can see that not just the epic's been moved to done now, but also the three stories that I just created have been automatically moved across to done by this automation rule. So again, quite a powerful um, rule that we've built here, but it was very easy to create this and it's definitely a, a massive time saver in, that you can use in pretty much any project uh, or any scenario where you have related issues that you want to keep up to date in JIRA.